M0FXB, welcome back to my dog walks with Mazzy. Say hi, look at this lovely path we're walking along. Lovely. Let's talk Yesu or ICOM. Now this goes back several years. The radios that were coming out in the 70s and the 80s are completely different to the radios that are coming out in 2024. So we'll, we'll, we'll talk generally like, let's go Yesu FTDX10 or the ICOM 7300. Both have completely different menu structures, structures, <laughs> but both are trying to do the same thing. And I believe that if we go Yesu 710, yeah, so we'll include that in it because it is SDR. Um, probably got four meters as well. I'm not sure in the USA if there's any extra bands or anything that you can use that we can't use in the UK. So what do you prefer? The menu structure that you get with a with the AICOM, yeah, which I, I like. Yeah, it's a grid structure. Hit menu, you've got your grids, you go into settings and CIV and functions and all the different parameters. Or do you prefer the Yesu way of doing it? With Yesu, I suppose they have used a similar layout. But again, is it which is more intuitive? You know, I always found that the icon was excellent because you tap the frequency, you changed it. You tapped the mode, you know, the, the LSB USB square on the screen, and you changed to it. So completely intuitive. You tap the battery, you tap the time, it was all good. Now the Yesu, they have added they have added similar, you know, methods of changing. But I would say not on everything. It's a bit more menu driven. You have to go into the menu and dig a little bit deeper and start changing the settings. So then the next one is, well, which one is easier to use on WSJTX FT8? Which is easier to use? What's your experience on that? You know, do you struggle or do you find that the ICOM just does it easier, does everything quicker? Then antenna tuners. Which one do you think works better? Remember that the ICOM 7300 has got that emergency tuner where even if your SWR is higher than three to one, it will let you, let you use the tuner, but you're in emergency mode. I think you're limited to 50 watts. I think that's a really useful feature. And then when it comes to unlocking the radio open TX, because it's a, it's, a, it's a question that gets asked every single time I do a video on a radio it's can it be opened can we open the TX sometimes I feel like they're just asking it for the sake of it they have no intention of opening the TX they probably don't even own the radio but they want to know can it be <laughs> which always tickles me and what about the reliability have you heard about ICOMs or Yesus which is the first one you think is gonna you know burn out the the transmit ETC Price-wise, very similar in pricing. And was it worth bringing out the, the uh, Yesu 710 when we already had the DX10, which to me um, was a very, very good device. Um, one of the big things is it was a hybrid, so not completely SDR, but it also decoded CW. Now, we don't decode CW that often, but we like to know it can. We can. And then the Digi modes. So let me know, what, what, what's your preference? Yesu, ICOM, or are you going to turn around and go, I like Aircraft. I like Zygu. You know, again, that's a budget radio. And there's there's other top end radios. Is it Ten Tech? Let me know. Thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now. Bye from Mazzy Seven Three.